Oh yeah, it's been a while. Um, we've not, it feels weird because I've not done this for six, seven weeks now. Um, hella busy. Sorry it's taken this long to get back on the vlog, um, but we've had a lot going on. Uh, we went to Disney. And we've shot a lot of weddings too. But the vlog is back, finally. This is vlog number 30. Here's what's coming up this week. So this week we have two weddings. Firstly, with Rio and Tom in sunny Wales today. Very hot, if I'm sweaty, that's why it's hella hot today. And tomorrow we're with Poppy and Jack at Given Bridge. Here's what happened this morning. So, we are just about to head to Rio and Tom's wedding. Stayed in a Premier Inn last night in Wales. Uh, we are heading to, I'm gonna try and say this correctly, Tinder. Tinder. I don't know. I'm gonna ask the lady when I get there how you actually pronounce the name of the venue, because um, that would help. But absolutely gorgeous weather. So, very much looking forward to it. This one's been a long time for me. When did they? Probably 2020, yeah. They were the last pre-wedding of 2020 before they the world were. shut down. Yeah. Um, and today's their day. They finally get their day. So we started like we usually do with the dress. We managed to find this gorgeous little corridor with the beam of light at the bottom there. It worked out really nice. And then the guys were actually getting ready in the same place. It was all at Tinder Hall. Uh, so I could bob over to the lads and see them getting ready, which was nice. As standard, there was like one groomsman that knew how to put on a bow tie. In fairness, I don't know how to put one on, but pretty standard that most of the lads just don't have a clue, to be honest. Same at every wedding. Finishing touches on Rio, who looked absolutely stunning. It's always been a running joke when we see these guys that I ask them if they're engaged because um, we've been together for ages. So it was really nice to actually see them get married. As we said before, it was supposed to happen two years ago. Uh, so they finally tied the knot. It was gorgeous. This is showing Susie's shot from the back there. So Sue's at the back of the room and I'm at the front so we can capture, there she is. So we can capture two angles. Love a confetti shot. They always look awesome. Yeah, spray us! Let's go! stopping breathing. It's Sue's getting a run on, bless her. Making use of the gorgeous gardens. They've got this like cool walkway around the back of the garden. Uh, perfect for photographs and video. So Mike Langley can see there on the left hand side. Really cool guy to work with. So awesome day as ever. The guests are eating now. We're just chilling out. Uh, we're with Mike Langley today from Satin Pictures as a videographer. So we're just chilling out, backing up some of our stuff. Thought I'd come and talk to you on the camera. It's been an awesome day so far. We actually know Rio and Tom, so it's very relaxed. We've got uh, two couples that we've photographed their wedding as well. Um, plus we know a few other people here. So it's really nice, really relaxed. Um, it's the first time we've been to Tindor. That's how you say it, Tindor, apparently. Um, absolutely stunning venue, really, really nice. It's got like really kind of uh, big country house vibes mixed with really nice new architecture, absolutely beautiful. So many places to take photographs. You've seen some already. We're gonna be going out with them again to take some more photographs when the light is just a little bit softer, a little bit nicer. It's very full on at the moment. Uh, the weather is absolutely scorching. Um, so yes, yeah, it's, it's been an absolutely amazing day so far. These guys had DFC um, and it went off during the meal. We were eating in another room um, and could just hear it go off with the sax and the DJ playing. It was ace. Really, really cool. Really cool party atmosphere that carried on through into the night. So unprofessional. 
we always like to sneak our couples out for just a few more shots after the meal. Um, Rio was quite inebriated by this point, bless her. Um, but yeah, it's nice. The light's usually a lot better, especially if you see just the little golden rim around them there. It looks amazing on photographs. Um, so we, we looked out with the light. It was absolutely stunning. It is now the Saturday and we are at Gibbon Bridge for Poppy and Jack's wedding. So... I'm trying not to stop on the white <laughs> carpet. <laughs> uh, so yesterday's wedding was phenomenal. Um, ended up really nice. We ended up getting some beautiful light towards the end of the wedding. Um, for some gorgeous shots of Tom and Rio. Today we are at, as you can see, Gibbon Bridge from here. In all its gorgeousness. Um, for Poppy and Jack. So we're doing the photos today and we're filming the ceremony and the speeches. So we're not doing full video, um, but the guys don't have a videographer um, and they just wanted the important bits recording. So we're gonna do that. We're hoping for, I say, I say we're hoping for an outdoor ceremony. We're gonna get an outdoor ceremony because it is ridiculously nice weather. Never actually been in this room before at Kimbridge, but it's absolutely gorgeous. It's like a dedicated uh, bridal prep room. It's huge. Um, and they've got the dedicated mirrors and stuff for makeup artists, hairstylists, which was nice. Lads again, like Rio and Tom yesterday, getting ready in the same hotel, which made it super easy for me to kind of flip back and forth between the two. Uh, it makes it super easy. So almost ready to go for the ceremony. So Susie's gonna be at the back here on the little uh, Sony 6600 getting a wide shot video. And then she's gonna be on the long lens at the back for photos. Uh, everyone's just currently still up here. They'll be coming down any minute now. So I'm gonna be behind the registrars up here. So I've got video camera set up ready to go. That's gonna have the 2470 that Suze has currently got with the girls. Um, and then I'm on the 35 and 85. Gibbon Bridge is an absolute force uh, in the summer when the, when the weather's nice. These outdoor ceremonies are absolutely gorgeous. Check out the length of the aisle. And there's so much space behind the registrars to kind of move about and get a load of photographs. Then it has amazing gardens. Um, this is some of the best gardens at any venue we've been to, to be honest. So it makes for some absolutely stunning uh, bridal photographs. This guy's an absolute genius at his craft. He gets so many cool reactions that we can just sit and take photographs of. I was literally sat at the table and had the camera rested on one of the ladies' handbags for this, but they were just dishing up response after response. It was phenomenal. I just realized I haven't spoken to you today at all. Um, but it's been really busy, really full on. Um, so we are just actually, just before first dance, it's a really nice light, look at that. Love some of it. Um, so yeah, awesome day. Really cracking portraits as you've seen. Um, the guests are, quite frankly, bizarre, utterly weird. Uh, so we feel right at home. Uh, we have the amazing Jason Rhea. Um, Rhea, Rhea. Sorry if that's wrong, Jason. Um, he is just phenomenal. He gives us really cool reactions um, from guests from the bride and groom. So awesome to have him here. And he's a really nice guy as well. Uh, if you're looking for a mag magician, can't recommend him enough. So phenomenal. Can't not stroke a cat or a dog if there's one knocking about the venue. There's two of them at this one. So as is standard, forgot to put the GoPro on for most of the dancing, but the dance hall was packed. It was an awesome party. So that's it for the vlog this week. If you've liked it, feel free to give us a like. Even better, subscribe to the channel and we'll see you next week.